we are in uncharted waters. There is, you Correct. can ask the smartest of smarts. Yep. And 10 of them, put 10 of the smartest people in the room. And I guarantee you, we get 10 different answers. Exactly. Guaranteed. Yep. It's yep. Just, I, I don't know where we're going. Um, but it is interesting. It, it makes this job. I, that's why I love this job. I mean, I do give my predictions, uh, at least around here. We're still very much, we we took a break, I feel like, from multiple offers back here, and now we're back. It is oh, crazy. you are. It, we're back. And I'm, I, I, uh, a house in my neighborhood for 450000 no updates, was built in 2003, everything original, everything, and went well over asking. Well, I, I mean, we, just, we just listed one yesterday. We're a second home market. Right. Right. We're a second home market. Right. Now, right. I have heard there are still some multiples going. We did mm -hmm. get a listing yesterday. Of, yeah, niche markets. Yeah, a listing in Naples. Very small, 55-plus community um, condo. And it's price points, 225 That's affordable for somebody, either right. cash or financing. Mm -hmm. So I have two offers right now, and I may be getting another one tonight. So we're going to be negotiating, and we're you know going to take the – we're obviously going to take the cash one. So that's that's a mm -hmm. no-brainer. Um, but I've got two other listings coming up the end of this month, and they're here in Fort Myers, and they're the under um, 350. So those will probably go very quickly. But mm -hmm. if you get anything above 600 and above, depending on the community, mm -hmm. multiples, some not. Mm -hmm. Just depends. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is interesting how. And when you when you look at a second home market where it's us in Florida and the other is Nevada. So if there's ever a market crash, the second home market always gets hit. I mean, it just mm -hmm. gets beat up bad, right? Mm -hmm. Because, in, you know, you look at stock market, what's been happening, right? Up, down, it's like a roller coaster. Nobody can figure it out. And it eventually it rises over time, always has. But. When there's a lot of instability and in talk, then the markets, the second home markets get beat up. Now, Nevada and Florida always get hard first, hit hard first, and they get hit the hardest. But they're always first to come back when the market gets good and the, and the property values go up quicker. So when you sit here and look at our market right now, uh, our markets lost, I'm going to say probably 50% of value in 2008. And we just actually got back this year to where we where were in 2005. Yeah. Wow. So it's not like we've really lost anything. We just now got back. How many years did that take, right? Do we, do we, think, do we think there's going to be a market crash? No. There's obviously a stabilization of the market right now, and things have flattened off, and we're a little bit more realistic. Yeah. Which I'm glad that things have calm down to where it's not multiples and you're taking buyers out and buyers are getting frustrated you're putting 10 offers in on different properties and 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 you can't find anything so those buyers said i'm done i'm not doing this anymore now they may come back but most of them aren't because most of them if they were financing they're not gonna they can't, they can't afford right. it now right so we've got a lot of people that have actually now are just saying you know what i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna rent that's another problem rentals right now are ridiculous through, through the roof yeah. How much it costs to rent, you know, where we used to live in Palms of Monterey, a little apartment complex. What was ours? Nine fifty. Nine fifty a month. Twenty seven fifty. Twenty seven hundred dollars now. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. In ten years. Mm -hmm. Ten years. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is. Uh, there. I mean, I, I feel for those people that I deal with a lot of um, being in the suburbia area. You get a lot of young professionals, young families right. who want to get right. out of the rent and own. But, oh, my gosh, what they're paying in rent is just. And then insane. you probably can't get you can't get seller concessions because of the seller's market. You're not going to have the seller's concessions. Oh, no. Forget you that. Can, um, so what we do, what it was for a while. And in fact, it's still kind of creeping. I see it every once in a while is. Um, uh, no, there's never any seller paid concessions. And then it is an as is. Um, yeah. Seller has the right to an inspection, but cannot and will not request any repairs. So Correct. you're trying to make your buyers, as my job is, is make my buyers attractive as possible to the seller. And that's one way. But I mean, we were waiving inspections. We were doing uh, $20,000 appraisal we gaps. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And it's just net, like, it's, 
we we have switched to a buyer's market so fast that you know, buyers are asking for anything they want now. Mm -hmm. They're asking for concessions oh. for for um, uh, closing home costs. warranties, yeah. closing costs, you name it. Sherry Reeves and Mike, we work with Cobalt Banker, been with them for 12 years. Sure, yeah. Um, you can reach us on our cell phone number, 859-512-1613, or uh, Mike's 239-240-9069. Um, it shows up in our phone as Mike. It's why it's hard to know the number. <laughs> I <didn't keep> track. <laughs> but we have our cell phones on us all the time. You can reach us pretty much anytime, and we'll answer any questions anybody has. Awesome.